So what we have here is a small laser engraver and a pretty shit one of that. This thing cost roughly a hundred euros, but you get what you pay for. So you have the laser unit here, which is a diode laser, and it rattles inside. It's not very well attached. It's attached by two screws, which are too long. The unit itself is not big enough for the hole it's in. The attachments have been done with hot glue, but since the laser doesn't really get that hot, that's probably not going to be much of a problem, but it's not very professional. Same thing for the lower plate, it's attached by hot glue. And then we have the electronics. This thing is powered by just USB. You have two USB connectors that connect. The other one gives it power and the other one connects the controller. Now, this thing also arrived broken. This particular condensator was detached. I had to reattach it. I did get reimbursed for that one, but yeah, this is like the basics of this thing aren't great. The um, the X and Y stages are done with stepper motors, so they move the X and Y, and they are in fact old DVD or CD drive steppers. So the area that you can engrave is only 38 by 38 millimeters, so it's not very big. The Quality is okay, it's not great, but it's okay for the price, but it's really slow. It takes usually more than an hour to do a full 36 by 36 stamp sized picture. And then there are other problems. This thing only comes with one set of glasses, and those glasses aren't, they don't seem to be specifically for lasers, they're just very, they're, they're well shaded and this thing has no other protections other than those glasses so this is going to be a hazard for your eyes if you don't make an enclosure for it. I personally used a IKEA trash bin and just put it on top of this thing. Then we have another problem because laser engraving is an ablative process which means that you're going to be burning stuff up. Which means that if you're engraving something that gives toxic fumes, you need to evacuate those fumes away from your apartment or do this in a very well, well ventilated space. Or just do it outside. And doing it outside has its own concerns, whether someone can accidentally open the thing and then see the beam. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend getting one of these unless you really need to do 38 by 38 millimeter stamps. I'll show an example of what the, what the quality is like right about here. And as we can see, the quality isn't really that bad, but it's not great either. Then we have the software as one of the issues. The software itself while it works, it's very basic and you'll have to do a lot of work in other programs first to make sure that the end result quality is the best that it can be because the, the as you can see the options in this program are very limited. Because of the controller is a standard uh, controller that un understands G-code and as far as I understand this program actually makes G-code but doesn't really show it and just does a raster image with those, you can actually feed it G-code and it'll understand it. I haven't been able to test the G-code on this thing yet but I understand that there are G-code generators that can make proper G-code for this device. Maybe I'll do a second video on that. But yeah, this has been the cheap but shit laser engraver. Thank you for watching.